three times a lady. Well, I've just heard she's gone out on a winning note. She's on her way to stud, but she is now a four-time winner. And off air, we're chatting. This is what races, race horses are all about. You get your stars that shine, but then you get your workman-like horses, and you can't knock her. She's a four-time winner. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we just had a look. She's had 31 starts. She's now a four-time winner, five seconds, a couple of thirds and fourths. She's been in the money almost 50% of the time, and, you know, from my owner's perspective, you don't realise, I mean, I know the Scribantis definitely do because they, they, they're well supported and represented in the industry, but just generally for, for those out there, you know, that's a good result a at the end of the day, you know, for a horse. So, as you say, she's been workmanlike. She's never, ever set the world alight. Um, she's been there, thereabouts, yeah. and she's managed to notch up her fourth win on her, her ultimate time at the races. And it says a lot about the field, as you're pointing out. She jumped five to one favourite. It was an open affair, so she's put her best foot forward. And racing off relatively consistent form, it was a, a good win. Absolutely. You know, she's, uh, she's a better filly on the turf. Um, some yeah. races haven't suited her on the poly, and then she was a bit unlucky on the one turf race with me. She might have run slightly closer. We're in a bit of a quandary because I haven't been convinced that she's a 10 furlong yes. filly. And she was in the poly on the mile and well drawn. And then she was in this, this race here on the turf over 2,000. And Ellen and I were scratching our heads and I said, you know what, it's the last race on the turf before they do the spring treatment. She's running out of time. Let's just ride her conservatively on the turf and everything's panned out. We cracked the right sort of field. Yeah. Well done to Lee and Chelsea Scrivanti, you know, doyens of the yard and uh, always a pleasure to have a winner for them. Certainly is and very well done. Thanks Nadine. There you go, three times a lady, she'll be making her way to Stadna, Ellen pointing out that she's quite nicely bred, and now she's got that fourth win behind her name as well, so she'll be a worthy inclusion back to the barn. Yeah, she's off to Ascot Stud most probably tomorrow, and going to go and visit Heavenly Blue, which is Ashley's uh, new um, arrival there this season, nice grey, so, um, you know, that uh, was her last race, and it's always nice when a filly wins their last race before they go to Stud, so well done to uh, Chelsea and Lee Scribanti and the Volker Bo so, Moritz Fontaine team that bred her. Um, and yeah, you know, I thought she'd win a couple more races, but she's been a little bit unlucky. She's won four um, and she goes out on a. Oh, no, yeah. Right. Well, very well done. Good to have her in the winner's box. I saw Daly ran a nice third as well, so a good result for the yard. Yeah, she seemed to enjoy the blinkers and rattled off quite nicely towards the end. So uh, I think keep an eye on her. Well done. Thank you. There you go, three times a lady leaves uh, on a high note. Her swan song this afternoon lands her in the winner's box for the fourth time. Very well done to Mr. Chelsea and Lee Scrabanti. And yeah, she'll be soon uh, breeding the next generation. Race five is now all clear to pay. Five, four, two, seven, one. Touch favorite was the winner number five. It's all clear. Skintata Mundi now goes up, flag is up. They're racing from that 2,000 meter marker. Detti along the inside won the first ones to respond. Uh, rock Stardom is right there. Jatango tonight towards the outside also taking closer order. In fact, looking to take over now. Bell Tower is right there. Redberry Wood towards the outside. Lay Tesson. They've been followed in by Silver Goblet. Uh, Settlement Dane. Widest of all, we've got Lay Tesson. Boldness is further back. And then 